Welcome back for part two of the exterior one point perspective. Um, so we have doors and we have windows that we've drawn in the A side facing us and the B side stretching away or shrinking. Um, and if we exit this door, we're gonna get run over. So we need some safety feature. You know, you could even put more doors or windows on this building too, but you're exiting out into a dangerous area. So we're gonna create a sidewalk. All right, and so to pull us ourselves, pull ourselves a sidewalk, we're gonna draw two lines from the vanishing point, and they're gonna stretch along the front of the building here. So I'm pulling along that way. This is the actual surface that you're walking on. And then the next line is gonna be a little bit more skinny or next to the other one, very close. And it represents the step off, the height of the step off into the street. You kind of visualize that a little bit there. This is the surface we walk on, and this is the step off into the street. All right, so now we need some cracks to make it actually look like a sidewalk, and you know, so your mother can break her back. So these are horizontal lines. Now, what people tend to do, it's very common. We are pulled by all of these really unique lines. We tend to want to turn our ruler crooked. Do not, no, no. We want to keep this as horizontal as we can, okay? Um, the more horizontal we can keep this, the flatter your sidewalk is going to appear, all right? Otherwise, your sidewalk looks like it's leaning down into the ground, which would be inappropriate and a little disconcerting for the neighbors around. All right, so see how these are horizontal. They are not leaning, okay? The only diagonal you're allowed to have is one that goes to the vanishing point. So your ruler can either be diagonal to the point, vertical, or horizontal. There are no other positions you can have it in. Okay, it's like a multiple choice question. If it's not one, then it might be one of the other two. Okay, so now where we have our horizontal lines, we're gonna bring lines straight down, verticals. Again, not tilted, not crooked, but a clean vertical line that shows sort of the height of the step off into the street. So it adds a little bit of vertical quality for us. All right. We can give the illusion a little bit here of even lines down the center of the street. A lot of folks want to have lines on the street. And so when it comes to lines, we understand mentally that the lines are shrinking. They're shrinking in length this way, and they're shrinking in width this way as they go down the street. So I'm pulling two lines. Both of them are coming from the vanishing point. Okay. And they are basically side by side, but they are divided a little bit by the angle of the rulers. Okay, See how my lines are getting wider as they're coming out to me? All right, but both of those lines came from here. I just did a pivot, I stayed there, and I did a pivot with my ruler. All right, now we wanna use horizontal lines again. Okay, good clean horizontal lines to stop the lines on the street. You might have to extend them a little bit or shrink some or erase a little bit here and there so that you feel the flatness of those lines. I'll be back in just a moment for part three where we're gonna do some, some telephone poles uh, along this side of the road, the left-hand side.